Andy, how you doing? Doing well. Well, what do you hope to accomplish between now and week one to get yourself acclimated and, and up to speed with this offense? Yeah, I think right now it's just building chemistry with our guys. You know, first time being around everybody. Um, for them, hearing my cadence, making sure they're uh, we're communicating well and just kind of getting a feel for her, how our skill position players are running routes and, and, and everything. So right now it's just building that chemistry and uh, just getting used to everybody. Uh, I've really enjoyed getting to be here the last couple of weeks and uh, you know, kind of building on, on what we've been doing. Jason Leisure. Andy, what was the experience like for you to see them draft a quarterback in the first round? You know now he'll be the long-term priority when they do that. Did you see that coming at all? And how do you feel about it now? Yeah, I've had a lot of different conversations with, uh, with everybody here. I knew there was a possibility of it. And so, um, you know, when it happened, you know, it, it is what it is. And so, um, you know, I, Justin's a, a great guy. Uh, getting to know him in the last couple of weeks and getting to be around him. And, um, you know, he's, he's going to make the quarterback room better. Adam Johns. Hey Andy, I was hoping you, if you could elaborate a little bit more on that. Is, is Justin the type of guy who asks a lot of questions on and off the field? What are those Zoom meetings like? Are you guys starting to hang out off it a little bit? How much is he starting to lean on you for information? Yeah, I think right, right now for him, I mean, it's all new. His first time getting an NFL offense. So I'm trying to give him any advice that I can on, on, on certain things, how I view certain plays or, um, you know, what I do with my eyes on, on, on certain things. So just th different things that come with the experience. You know, obviously I've been going into year 11. I, I've, I've had a lot of ball. And uh, so I, I think for me, I'm just trying to help him out as much as I can. I'm curious, how much do you enjoy that, being a mentor, uh, you know, for, for a younger guy? I mean, do, do you like being that sounding board? Absolutely. I think, you know, that's, that's you know, just the, the position I'm in and what everybody should enjoy. You know, all our experiences in our life aren't for us, they're for other people. So you're trying to pass that along. How Marcus? Andy, um, I'm curious, you know, obviously you're with a new team. You're the new starting quarterback. You need all the work you can get. It's clear why you're out there. And we know that these OTAs are, are voluntary. And, and we know what's kind of going on between the players and the owners right now, but have never seen this many of the veteran bears not participate. Um, what, what is the atmosphere out there? How much work are you able to get done with so many of the key guys not there? Yeah, we're still able to get a lot of good work, you know, and um... – you know, we can't worry about the guys that aren't here. We just got to focus on the guys that are here and getting better. And, you know, that, that that's all that we our mindset is. That's all our focus is, is uh, regardless who's here, who's not here, this is what we're going to be doing. These are the plays that we're going to run and uh, we're going to be moving forward. And it's been a good couple of days of, of, of practices since we started these OTAs. And, um, you know, we've got a couple more of them. And But you know, I feel like we, we've gotten better in the last couple of days. Do you have any sense as a veteran leader yourself? I mean, obviously this is very different uh, and I know we're coming out of the pandemic, but, but, but why do you think the players are choosing not to participate this year in such so much greater numbers than they ever have before? Uh, I think there's a lot of different reasons. I mean, I, you can throw the pandemic still in it with, with COVID and everything going on, uh, but everybody has to make a decision what's best for them and what's best for their family and what's best for their career. So um, now I think at the end of the day, that's what, that's what guys are doing. Thanks, Andy. Joe Lewis. Yeah, and in regards to the young players that uh, you all have on offense, what has been your takeaway or your impression of them? Yeah, this, you know, especially from a skill position standpoint, we, we've got some young guys that have, have a ton of talent. And so, like I was saying earlier, right now it's, it's building chemistry with them, making sure that we're on the same page, making sure they're, um, running routes, how, how we're expecting to run routes, how make sure we're seeing things the same way. And it, I've been very impressed so far. And I think this, the, the chemistry that we've been building is going to help us once the season gets going. Mark Grody. Hey Andy, um, your head coach, Matt Nagy was, uh, kind of having fun with the, the, you know, the, the fiery redhead thing and saying that, you got a pretty big voice out there and you don't, don't underestimate that. How, how does that fire manifest itself with you? Well, I, I think it, it comes with experience and it, you know, understanding how things should look 
And um, so, you know, I, I think playing the position of quarterback, you're obviously going to have a voice, but then you, you throw the experience and, and, you know, how long I've been doing this into the mix too. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's, you're, you're in that leadership position and you want to make sure things are going the right way. And so I'm sure that's what he's alluding to with the, the fiery redhead comments, but um, you know, I'm trying to do everything I can to, to make us the best team that we will be come, uh, come the fall. Pat Finley. Hey, Andy, how are you? Doing well. How are you, man? I'm good. I'm good. How would you uh, characterize the uh, the vibe of the room, uh, not only with Justin, but with Nick? And, and, and how has Nick used his experience to, to, to try to help Justin as well? We've got a great room. I think that's one thing that's been cool. You know, for me, obviously, I, I didn't know Justin before this. I knew Nick a little bit uh, coming into this with two guys from Texas, you know, follow, and I knew who he was in high school, all that kind of stuff. And um, so it's been fun for me to get to get to be around him. I've followed his career from afar and have, have talked some, but uh, to finally get to be in the same room has been great. Uh, but I think it's, it, it, it's a great room. Nick and I both are trying to share our, share our experiences with uh, Justin. And uh, just like I said, just trying to help him in any way. Dane Weider. Andy, when, when you had a uh, clearer picture after the draft about what the situation was and had become, I'm curious what you did mentally to sort of get yourself in a mindset to maximize the opportunity that you do have here going forward. I knew the situation I was going into, regardless if they drafted somebody or they didn't. I was on a one-year deal, and I was going to be the starter. So my mindset didn't have to change. I already knew that I'm going to do everything I can to be the best player I can for this team and to help us win a lot of football games. And that's been my goal from the very beginning. And so uh, whatever happens after this year happens, but um, my mindset didn't change just because they drafted Justin. On a micro level here in the month of June in, in OTAs and minicamp, what can you specifically pull out of this month that will increase your comfort when you hit the field in training camp that, that you can kind of draw out of this little stretch of OTAs and minicamp? Yeah, I think it's just being around everybody and, and getting to be in the huddle, call plays, see how guys communicate, see how we're handling things up front, making sure everybody's on the same page in the, and, uh, you know, out wide and in the skill position group and stuff that if I would have gone right into training camp, we didn't have any practices. It, it, I would have been starting from, from the beginning a lot, uh, a lot later in the, in the process. So I think this, this, uh, this time of year, these, these last couple of weeks and then the next couple that we've got going forward are, are going to be big just with building that chemistry with everybody. All right, we got time for two more. We're going to go with Jason Leisure and Alex Shapiro to close it out. Jason? Andy, just a logistical question. When did you start working on learning this offense and what did you do before you got on the field uh, over, I guess, I'm going to assume the past couple of months to do that? Yeah, I mean, I, as soon as I signed here, I was already starting to learn the offense. And so, fortunately, been, been around, I think this is seventh coordinator out of, out of my 11 years. So, I, I, I know how to adjust to a new offense and, and everything. Um, so, just right from the beginning, I was trying to make sure that I was on the same page, just making sure that uh, if I had any questions to reach out. And uh, so, when we got to this time of year, that I, I wouldn't have to – to get some questions answered and, and see how things were going. So, uh, you know, I've, I've been in this, I've, I've been trying to learn and uh, I feel really comfortable with everything that we've done so far. Alex. Hey Andy, as you have learned the offense, what have been your first impressions of learning the offense and then getting back to work with uh, Bill Lazor, has that been familiar kind of like the old days or is it a little different now that you guys are further down the road? No, it's been great being back with Bill. And, you know, that's a, a big reason why I wanted to be here because of Bill and just the experiences that we've had together. It's been fun to see Matt install the plays and just to hear the way that, uh, that, that he's going about talking about every, every read that we have, every progression. This is why we're calling, this is what we're doing and just his teaching. I think that's, that's what this time of year is for, is for the teaching. And we've, you know, Matt's done a great job. All, all these coaches are doing an awesome job of getting everybody uh, 
to be on the same page, to making sure they're not thinking so much when they're out there and, and, and teaching why we're doing certain things. And so that's been great. And so, um, you know, I think we got to take advantage of this time of year. All right. Thank you, Andy. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Talk to you all soon.